shall live in his sight. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. So, and knowing that in the eyes of God, we are the third day since the birth of Jesus Christ. This is to, that's to prophesy that God will cause a revival to take place in these last days in which we are living in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, on the third day, Jesus Christ rose from the dead. As the word of God tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 4, which says, And that he was buried, and that he rose again. The third day, according to the scriptures. And even many saints that were dead also rose from the dead as Jesus Christ resurrected. Matthew chapter 27 verse 52 to 53 says, And the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. This, this is prophesying unto us that in these last days in which we are living, God will resurrect whatsoever the enemy has killed in our life. Maybe your, your, your dream, your destiny, your blessing, your health, your marriage, or your finances, or your job, or your ministry, or your gift or talent, whatsoever the enemy has killed. In this last day, God will resurrect it in the name of Jesus Christ. And on the third day again, the marriage of Cana of Galilee took place. John chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 which says, And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there and both Jesus was called and his disciple to the marriage. This is to prophesy again. That as we are on the third days in the eyes of God, hence Jesus Christ will come back to fetch his bride, even meaning his church, in the name of Jesus Christ. So we must be ready to meet our spouse, to meet Jesus, for he's coming back to take his bride. So this is a prophecy about the rapture. On the third day, Again, Abraham reached the place where God asked him to sacrifice his son Isaac. And being full of faith, Abraham said unto his son Isaac that God will provide a lamb for the sacrifice. And indeed, God provided the lamb for the sacrifice instead of Isaac. And Abraham called the place Jehovah Jireh. Genesis chapter 22 verse 1 to 4 and verse 8 and verse 14. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him Abraham and he said behold here am I and he said take now your son your only son Isaac whom you love and get you into the land of Moriah and offer him there on for a burnt offering upon one of the mountain which I will tell you of and Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and cleared the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. Verse 8 And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a land for a burnt offering. For, so they went both of them together. Verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his, thong, by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jova Jari, as it is written to this day, in the month of the Lord it shall be seen or it shall be provided. This is to prophesy that in these last days in which we are living, God will provide for we provide for all the sacrifices that you are doing for his name's sake. 
for all the good work that you are doing, all the effort that you are doing for the work of for, for, for God. He will provide in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, on the third day, upon the third day of the of the creation, God calls all the fruitful trees and plants to grow and produce fruits. Genesis chapter 1 verse 11 to 13 which says, And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself, after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. This is therefore to prophesy that in this last day in which we are living, God will cause you to bear fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, after searching for the child Jesus for three days, so Mary, in meaning upon the third day, Mary and Joseph found him in the temple. Luke chapter three, uh, Luke chapter two, verse forty-three to forty-six. Which says, and when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among the king's folk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem seeking him. And it came to pass that other three days, meaning upon the third day, they found him in a temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, for both hearing them and asking them questions. This is to prophesy that as you will be seeking the face of God, in his house, in these last days in which we are living, you will find him indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. And we can say again, John has spent three days and three nights in the belly of the fish. And then the fish vomited him as God spoke to the fish. Jonah chapter 1 verse 17 and chapter 2 verse 10 verse 1 which says now the Lord had appeared now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights chapter 2 verse 10 which says and the Lord and the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. This is to prophesy that in this last day, God will speak to your problem, and to your and your problem will vomit you in the name of Jesus Christ. And lastly, Saul, who became well known as the Apostle Paul, spent three days being blind and Jesus Christ sent one of his servants to put his hand on Saul and he recovered his sight Acts chapter 9 verse 8 to 9 and verse 17 to verse 18 which says and Saul arose from the earth and when his eyes were opened he saw no man but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus and he was three days without sight and neither did eat nor drink verse 17 and ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hands on him said brother Saul, the lord even jesus that appeared unto you in the way as you came has sent me that you might that you might receive your sight and be filled with the holy ghost and immediately they fell from his eyes at it had been scales and he received sight forth and he received sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. This is therefore to prophesy that in this last day in which we are living, God will restore your sight, your spiritual sight in the name of Jesus Christ. So we need to understand therefore that the three days appointed to meet the people of Israel, so the, upon the three days are actually speaking about 
is a prophecy about the time in which we are living now this third millenary and therefore it is an appointed time that God has said to meet with us that God has said to visit to, uh, to have an encounter with us therefore we must be ready we must prepare ourselves by washing our clothes in other words taking sins away from us by sanctifying ourselves setting ourselves apart for God's use understand that your mouth is no more for yourself or to speak like the people of the world speak but it should be for God's purpose to speak the word of truth the word of God your body is not to def be defiled with uncleanness with sexual immorality with all unnecessary unclean things that the people of the world the, 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 uh, the people of the world do but it is be, it is to be used for the glory of God so you must be ready you must be ready and it is upon Mount Sinai which is a representation of the world so as we are in the world though we don't belong to the world so God give us his word so that we can we, we, we can have the light of this word of the of the word so that we can go through the world to our heavenly habitation our heavenly dwelling and understand that God has promised us several things for these last days so we want to pray therefore for, to thank God in the name of Jesus Christ for his word for speaking his truth his prophecy his death unto us in the name of Jesus Christ we want to pray as well to ask God in the name of Jesus Christ to move every human being to make themselves ready to meet God in this last day in which we are living and finally we want to pray to thank God for answering our prayers so let us join our faith and let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ Heavenly Father Abba Father glorious Father we bless you, we honor you, we glorify you, we exalt you. We thank you for your word. Thank you for, speak, oh, for speaking your truth unto us. Thank you for reviving us with your, oh God, revelation, with your insight, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray and we ask you, oh Almighty God, help us. Help the entire human race. Every human being, wherever they be, help, oh God, to prepare themselves to meet you by sanctifying themselves setting themselves apart getting rid of all kind of sin in the name of Jesus Christ washing our clothes in the blood of Jesus Christ making them white even whiter than snow in the name of Jesus and as we do so oh God Almighty May you, O oh God, meet us in these last days, in the third day in which we are living now, the third day according to you, in the name of Jesus. May you, O oh God, come down in the darkness of the people, in the trouble of the people, to give them, O oh God, the light of your word, to, so that they may be able to come out of the trouble, they may be able to come out of the situation, the trouble, the problem, in the name of Jesus Christ. May you shine the light of your word, O mighty God, in this last day, O God, upon the earth, upon human beings, O mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And may you revive us, O Lord, in this last day. May you bring a mighty move of your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ as he has never been seen before in the name of Jesus Christ. May you, O God, resurrect, O God, whatsoever the enemy has killed in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it right now. That, oh God, our dream or business or, oh God, our work or talent or ministry or gifts, oh God, whatsoever the enemy has killed, let it come back to life in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever, oh God, whatsoever, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, the people will do in your praises to seek your face in truth. Father, I prophesy that now that we find you in your house in the name of Jesus Christ and as there we, we give sacrifices Almighty God whatever effort that we will do oh God 
with sincere heart in truth for your work, for your name's sake. May you provide, oh God, for that sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ, even as you provided, oh God, for oh God, the burnt offering that Abraham had to, 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 to make for you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as oh God, we are in this world. Father, restore our spiritual sight, even as you restore the spiritual sight, Almighty God. The, the sight of, of, of the uh, of soul in the name of Jesus Christ and may you bring us out of the be, the fish of the, 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 the belly of the fish in the name of Jesus Christ let us speak to our situation and let our situation vomit us right now in the name of Jesus father we thank you we bless you the same way as you spoke on the third day and you cause, O oh God, upon the feather of the creation, the trees to bear, to bring forth fruit. May you speak to our life to bring forth fruit right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be fruitful in these last days. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We bless you. Let us be ready, O oh God, for your return. For the, the rapture. Let us not miss it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, all the adoration. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Be blessed.